Big Daddy here, and today we're going to take a look at another new distro. So the good friends over at System76 who sell laptops and desktops with Linux pre-installed on them, and you who you may also know by creating the POP theme, have created their own distro. So it is called, wait for it, POP OS. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's what it's called. Okay, so what is POP OS? Well, according to the website, it's a powerful operating system just for creators. It is beautiful, modern, and powerful. And they plan on releasing it in late October on their Linux laptops and desktops. So it is based off of Ubuntu GNOME. And if you look at the programs that are installed, it's pretty much vanilla GNOME. I did install OBS Studio to, you know, Kind of record the video but um, everything else is vanilla gnome so it does have the tweak tool installed and you can see the all the pop themes and icon sets are here present and working and for extensions they only have three well actually two they have the user themes installed to obviously put the theme on but they have two other extensions installed and enabled by default. So you have the better volume indicator and you have the suspend button, which puts the little suspend button there. Other than that, it runs and acts just like Ubuntu GNOME because that's what it is. So it runs about two gigabytes of RAM for me, which is exactly normal uh, comparing it to my Ubuntu GNOME install on the other drive. And it runs pretty smooth. So, why would they create uh, a new distro? And I'm sure there's gonna be strong opinions on both sides of whether or not this was a good or bad idea. On one hand, you're gonna have people who say, this is just another respin, a wallpaper respin, where it's just, they change the wallpaper, they change the theme and the icon set, and they rename it, and now it's a new distro. And I get the argument on that side where you could have the whole Linux community flooded with people, guys in their basement like me. Wait, wait, I don't have a basement. But guys in their basement, you know, changing themes and then throwing out a distro here, throwing out a distro there. And there's no, there's nothing behind it. They really didn't do anything. They didn't create anything. They just threw out a distro. But I think this is a little bit different. This is not a guy in their, in their basement. This is a company who is putting out their name in the Linux community. And System76 is all over the Linux community, from Linux Northwest to everywhere, being a proponent to help the Linux community and also make money at the same time. So their brand, of course they want to get it out. And is it a bad idea for a company to get their brand out? and make a distro? No, I don't think it is. I think it's a great idea, actually. I think it could, you know, obviously make them a standout company. I mean, not that they are aren't already, but it could put them in a situation where they're known for not just their computers, but their operating system. So for me, I don't consider it a bad idea. I don't take offense to the fact that, oh my gosh, they just put new wallpapers on and they put a respin out. I think it's a great idea because there's going to be people who buy their computers, buy their laptops, who maybe even not even familiar with Linux and run this and don't have to worry about customizing, customizing it because it looks nice and it's modern and it runs well. And if that gets them to run Linux, that's awesome. So hats off to the guys over at System76 and... You can tell me in the comments below what you think and where you stand. And I'm like I said, I'm sure we're going to have uh, some on both sides. But tell me what you think. Is this a good idea or a bad idea? For me personally, I think it's a good idea in this specific situation. Let me know in the comments below and we'll talk about it.
But until next time, Big Daddy out.